Hi, I'm Neil Perry from Zen Software. In this short video I want to show you how we can configure MailStore to store the email that we're archiving into separate storage groups based on the year the message was received. Now this is a very straightforward installation with a few users and we've set up two archiving jobs for a typical exchange installation. We have our journaling job and we have our user mailbox job. Now at the moment on a default installation if we go into the administration settings and we go into our storage locations you can see there's just one default file group and this is what you would expect on a fresh installation. If we leave this as it is and we archive all our users existing email we're going to get one very large storage group with years and years worth of email. So I don't want to do that, instead I want to create separate storage groups for each year for the messages that, that, that we have to archive. So for this example we're going back to year 2009 but it may be that you need to create many more years and repeat this process. So I'm going to start by creating these storage groups. So I go into New and I choose the root folder that I want to create these, fo these storage groups at. Um, so I'm going to choose the same default location C Mail Archive and I'm going to create a new directory. So the first one we'll do is 2009 and that's created a new storage group for 2009. So I'm now going to repeat that task for 2010 and 2011. OK, we've now created our new storage groups, so I can now get rid of the default file group that we're no longer going to use. So I can detach that from MailStore. Now notice at the top the option to store newly archived email has now gone blank because we've removed the storage group it was using. So we need to select the year that we're going to archive email for. So I'm going to start with the oldest email first, so in this example I'm going to choose 2009. Now I can close the administration tools. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my Exchange Mailbox job to archive my user's email, but I'm only interested in email in the oldest email, in this case anything older than the 1st of January 2010, to effectively 2009's email. So we'll go and edit that job. And we'll go to the section where it says there's a filter here and we can choose to only archive messages older than a specific date. So if I choose the 1st of January 2010, oops, there we go, we're going to be archiving all of 2009's email and anything older but I know that there's only email going back as far as 2009. I'm only going to archive one user to, to, to speed up the process, but obviously you could run this now on all of your user accounts that you want to archive. Choose next, and I'll run the job straight away. Now as this is archiving, if you look at the subject uh, of, of the messages, you can see that it's actually skipping all of 2010 messages, but it's concentrating on 2009 messages and those are being archived. OK, so you can see that that job's now run and we should have just 2009 archived messages and we can test that by just going into the user's account we drill into the folder that we've archived and you can see that it only contains messages that are dated 2009. So the next thing we're going to do is repeat this task but we're going to change the storage location to be 2010. So here where we say store newly archived email in 2010, close that section down, go back and edit our job, choose next. Now we change the date to be January the 1st 2011, effectively it's now going to look at messages older than that date which will be 2010. Now because it's already got 2009 messages it won't re-archive those, it's going to skip them because they're already within MailStore. They're in a different storage group but they're within MailStore. 
So we're only doing the one user again and we can run the job straight away. So this time we should notice skip all of 2011, it's archiving the 2010 email and it should then skip the 2009 email again because it's already archived that once. So that job's now completed, so final step is to repeat it once more but for the, the most up-to-date email which is 2011. So back into storage locations, select the 2011 storage location, edit our job, and now we're going to go right forward. It can be any date from now into the future but to make things easy it's nice just to pick January the 1st 2012 and finally we'll run that job. Now you should notice that any messages it skips it, ar it goes through a lot quicker than messages it archives so the job should be a lot quicker the, the third time you run it than it was archiving the existing email. So it's now picked just archiving the uh, latest 2011 email and it's skipping everything else and it should be finished very quickly. Okay, so we've now got all of our email archived, but instead of just being in one location, it's separated based on the year. But if we look at the archive within MailStore, you can see that all the mail looks to be in one database. It's all accessible as if it was in one file group, but it's actually spread across three. And we can double check that in our administrative tools in the storage locations. You can see that it's the separate messages, there's a different number of messages in each storage location. Now in the future the advantage of doing it this way is if you want to get rid of all your 2009 mail or move it to a new location you can simply detach it from mail store. It's asking, telling you that you can reattach it at any time. So we've now not got any 2009 email and if we recheck that that search you should see that it only goes back to 2010. If we want to reattach it for any time we can go back into storage locations we can attach an old storage location, we browse to the folder that it exists at, so in this case 2009, that's reattached, if we now perform the search again the 2009 mails should appear.